a weight of 12 newtons is hung on a helical spring which has an unloaded length of 16 centimeters. Now a helical spring is just your standard spring which is looking like it's coiled like that. That's a helical, like a helix. Okay, so we've got uh, an unloaded length of 16 centimeters and calculate the value of the spring's spring constant. In this situation here, we're loading it with 12 newtons and it's got a new length of 21 centimeters. So let's get stuck into this calculation. Now, first of all, we need to find the extension of the spring, and that's fairly straightforward because it's just the difference between the original length and the new length. So we would do 21 minus 16, and that would give us an extension x equals 5 centimeters. That's quite an important point. Sometimes people um, use the the new length of the spring in the calculations and it all goes wrong. You've got to use the extension. So let's make a data list to start with. What do we know? Well we know that the force applied is 12 newtons. We know that the extension of the spring is 5 centimeters and we're being asked to find the spring constant K, which is the stiffness of the spring. So that's what we're looking for. And that will have the units of Newtons per centimeter because, because we're using extension in centimeters, then we will get the spring constant in Newtons per centimeter. They have to agree. Okay, the equation is F equals K times X. So first of all, we've listed our data. We've then written down the equation, which links all the data together. And now we're going to solve, we're going to put the numbers in. Let's do that. So we've got 12 equals K multiplied by five. I'm using a bracket here for multiplication. Okay, so we need to get K on its own. So we could divide both sides by five. So we've got 12 divided by 5. If we put that into the calculator, we'll find that that comes to 2.4 is equal to K. And so finally, we can state the answer with the correct unit. Our spring constant K is 2.4. And check the units up here, newtons per centimeter. And that's how you would do a calculation using Hooke's law f equals kx and just make sure that you use the extension not the lengths of the spring it's the extension which is the important uh, quantity for x see you in the next flashcard